to my skin after all of the CeraVe products tonight. Hey you guys, it's Shandera, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you thumbs up this video, and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And in today's video, yes, I tried CeraVe for 72 hours, and um, we have a lot to discuss. So the first thing I really wanna talk about is CeraVe being affordable. In my opinion, uh, not so affordable. I went to Ulta to get a few of these products. I know a lot of you are like, well, why you go to Ulta? You could've went to Walmart, Target. Ulta actually shockingly had everything stocked. The only thing they didn't have in stock that I was sad about was eye cream. So for 72 hours, I didn't use any eye cream. So if you see bags under my eyes, <laughs> Well, they didn't have eye cream. I ended up buying three products from CeraVe at Ulta, and you guys, it was expensive. It was almost $60 if you add tax. So the first day I did, I think a seven or six step routine using all of CeraVe products in the morning, and then at night, I did a easy two step uh, skincare routine. Okay, so today is the first day. I am going to be double cleansing with the hydrating cleanser, and then I am going to be using the foamy facial cleanser. Uh, so I showed this to you guys on my Instagram. Some of you guys thought it was a cleansing wash, and some of you guys think it's a toner. You know, using it now with all the CeraVe products, because when I was using it, I wasn't using it with all the CeraVe products. Uh, I don't know, it does kind of mimic a cleanser. Um, I just don't know how to feel. <laughs> So I just applied both of these together. This is the Instant Hyaluronic Acid Serum and the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And I must say, my skin is literally feeling like jello. Like, oh my gosh, I am in love. I mean, there may be something to use it only CeraVe products because when I just use the cleanser and the toner, I'm calling it a toner for now, you guys. When I used all three, I was kind of drying out, but then I applied the hyaluronic acid serum and the moisturizing lotion and I just feel, let me turn the light down, like literally my skin is feeling like Jello. I am going to be using the CeraVe Ultra Moisturizing Lotion with a SPF of 30. This is a chemical sunscreen. I'm just going to use a few pumps. Um, I use three. Okay, don't judge me. I'm using three. It's something on my lip. Let me. Yo. <laughs> Look, this is the first day. It's going all left already. This is what my skin looks like. I use nothing but CeraVe products. Um, here is the glow. Wow. Let me look in the mirror. Mm. Um, I actually like it. This is my morning routine because I'm going to go run errands and go about my day. So I had to apply an SPF. I will say the combination that I did in the morning, it didn't give me the oomph I needed to go throughout the whole day. I don't know if it was because um, I double cleansed with the hydrating cleanser in the morning and then the CeraVe Foamy Facial Cleanser. I personally did that because when I started doing this for the whole 72 hours, the previous night I had used used um, a very thick, heavy duty face mask. So I needed to really get a lot of it off. So that's why I did a double cleanse in the morning. Normally I don't do a double cleanse. By the second day, I didn't do a double cleanse. I actually used the CeraVe's Hydrating Cleansing Bar and I must say, I really love that bar. It's a little bit more hydrating than the actual CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser in my opinion. Now I do have a huge collection of CeraVe products now I want to say this I don't know where my SPF is the one I've been using but I actually like that and I've been using it way more often than I care to admit and actually reapplying it and you guys know I never reapply sunscreen but here's my collection um it doesn't look as big as I thought it would look but you know for me the way I drag CeraVe <laughs> I have a lot of CeraVe products, you guys. <laughs> and some that um, I've used and that are empties that ironically when I wanted to show you guys are nowhere to be found. I actually did my whole body as well. I actually ran out of the moisturizing cream about 
I would say 36 hours into this challenge. I have to settle for the Salicylic Acid CeraVe line and using that for the rest of the challenge, I actually enjoyed it. I didn't see a significant change in the dark marks I have on my elbows or my knees. Um, but I know over time, if I continue to use it, I probably will. But I did notice that I got way less of a bumpy texture on my body with using the SA Renewing Cream. And what I did to just give it that oomph is I used the SA Renewing Cream on my body and then I used the Healing Ointment Cream. And when I say bomb combination, I would suggest you try it. This light looks horrible. Like. I look a mess. Like, let me see if I turn on the one light off. Does it look? The, oh my God, that looks worse. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to get the light together. So what I'm gonna do tonight is um, sort of like a double cleanse. I'm gonna be using the CeraVe Hydrating Cleansing Bar. Then I'm gonna be using the SA Renewing Cleanser, the Micellar Cleansing Water as my toner. And then I am going to go in with my two favorite. Mm -mm. Uh, the Healing Ointment and the CeraVe's Hydrating Hyaluronic Serum. I just want to say this. Yes, I've already picked my favorites. <laughs> Sonomi already literally poked a hole in it. Look at what she did to it. They always love destroying my stuff. I told you I can't have nice stuff in this house. You guys, it's in my eye. The irony of this happening again. I review this bar on my channel and the same thing happened. So I just can't win from losing. <laughs> um, with that being said, um, I'm thinking the light will probably like shift colors once I rinse my face because I realized I have makeup on you guys. So I'm thinking maybe the makeup made me look like orange. I know I have orange undertones to my skin, but sometimes I'd be looking really orange. This has been out for a year and see how it says new. That's what I mentioned to you guys. Like, I just don't understand the whole new situation with it. And not new formula, new. <laughs> so, CeraVe, you know what? I'm gonna just leave it alone because I'd be sitting here using your products day after day. The cleansing bar and the foamy facial cleanser got my makeup off so nicely. So I kind of like that combination too for days when you have makeup on. Like I virtually have no makeup on my face and as I'm toning with the micellar water splash cleanser, I know someone is cringy. Like there's like just a little bit of makeup. Can you guys see just a little bit? I put really heavy eyeshadow on this time so I'm really shocked that I have like no makeup on my skin at all. It feels really good. There is just a little bit of burning. I do want to say that with the micellar water. Um, so if you are kind of sensitive to certain skincare types burning, you may want to watch out for the micellar water as well. It got in my eye again. Y'all look, CeraVe products burn when they get in the eye. It's the only brand I know for me personally that they start burning the micellar waters when they get in the eye. <laughs> Here is the makeup wipe um, that is makeup. I like to go down to my neck sometimes with my makeup. So that's why my neck look like that, okay? So I don't let the micellar water, I'm calling it the CeraVe toner dry down completely. I notice for me when it dries down completely, it sort of um, leaves like my skin dry and sticky. So I go right in with my baby, the hydrating. Um, hyaluronic uh, acid serum. I love this stuff so much. Look how much I'm using. Y'all know that's like revolutionary on this channel. But I get so much from just that like two pumps. Like look at that is enough for my whole entire face you guys. I mean just look at like you guys don't understand this hyaluronic acid serum is like a cloud to the skin. I mean I'm just like, oh, oh my God, if you guys could feel my face, it feels like, just imagine like jello pudding, just like you slather yourself in pudding. That's how this stuff feels. I've never felt anything as amazing as this CeraVe's Hyaluronic Acid Syrup. I'm just, I mean, look it. I just, and this is like no filter. Like, I just look this glowy 
without a filter. I don't know why I love this stuff so much. Y'all got me on this bad wagon of this. I don't, it's, I like it. It's something about it that I like, but I don't know why. Cause it's $20, it's too expensive, but this is how much I use for $20. I kind of slather myself in a little bit more of this, but the results that come with using this with the hyaluronic acid serum, if you decide to do this comb combination, you will love it so much. This is my skin after all of the CeraVe products tonight. What do you think? Um, watch this. Oh, it's just like a slick or oh, just, oh, glass skin at its finest. It's nice. It glides nicely, really hydrated. I'm not sticky at all. I'm not irritated, there's no burning. It's just really nice, you guys. Like, And when I wake up, my skin feels just like this, except without the products, like the products dry down. Actually, no residue on my bed with the CeraVe's Healing Ointment because I was expecting it to kind of mimic like Vaseline, but it hasn't done that to me yet. So, mm, mm, mm. you know, you just cannot deny the look at my skin look at oh so what i did for the 72 hours is i switched up my skincare routine using different products just to see which products my skin really truly loved and which ones they didn't my skin really loved the CeraVe hyaluronic acid serum i think this is an amazing product it's way better than the ordinary it's way better than any high-end hyaluronic acid serum i've reviewed on this channel and you know i've reviewed 300 ones 50 ones five dollar ones ten dollar ones one dollar ones <laughs> one dollar ones posing as three hundred dollar ones but that's another story for another time you know if you watch my videos you know which one i'm talking about um this one is the best one i've ever tried and i really think it's worth the price i think i either paid thirteen dollars or twenty dollars for this hyaluronic acid serum which is kind of pricey for drugstore in my opinion but even though i switched up sarah v's products for 72 hours that i did try them this product i kept in rotation one night one routine i didn't use this i think it's a really underrated product that no one talks a lot about a lot it's very hydrating it doesn't pill on the skin it works well with all of sarah v's products i was actually amazed by the hyaluronic acid serum and I didn't even know they sold it because I've never seen it at Walmart I've never seen it at Target I've never seen it at a CVS or Rite Aid like they don't have Rite Aid here in Arizona they have like one in the boonie somewhere but that's about it like Rite Aid isn't really here it's like CVS and I've never seen it at a CVS or a Walgreens I've only seen it at Ulta and that's where I got it and I really enjoyed that product honestly if I could rate them in doing the 72 hour challenge Challenge, I would say my favorite CeraVe products would definitely be the healing ointment cream. I think it is extremely expensive. I don't I don't know what they do differently than Vaseline, but this is really on a whole nother level than Vaseline. I don't know what they do because if you just look at the first two ingredients, it's petroleum jelly, mineral oil, and paraffin. So I don't know what they're doing differently, but this I will must say is way better than Vaseline. I just, <laughs> it is. And the hyaluronic acid serum was my favorite, as well as the CeraVe hydrating bar, which is somewhere on this table that I cannot find. I think those are really great products from the CeraVe line. I actually, out of all the cleansers I did use, um, I have the foamy facial cleanser somewhere. Oddly enough, I actually did like the Essay Renewing Cleanser doing this for 72 hours. I found myself using it way more than I did any other product. Everyone's skin is different, but this one causes me a lot of irritation. However, if it works for you, keep it in your routine. But oddly enough, you wanna know something interesting? When I go to Walmart and all of them are sold out, the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser stays in stock. <laughs> one this is irritating you know so you know CeraVe 
okay? With that being said, you guys, overall, I do want to say this. I think CeraVe's products, if you are using them correctly, are very hydrating. They really help protect your moisture barrier. If you are using them correctly and you're only using CeraVe, you will see results over time. My skin looked it great by day four. Actually, when I woke up day four, I decided to do my morning routine with CeraVe. But that night, honey, I was spicing it up. So, you know. <laughs> With that being said, I think you will see results over time. They make some great, great products. Y'all know I have tons of reviews on the mineral sunscreens. I tried it, but that's another story for another time. Um, and their chemical sunscreen does leave a metallic taste, but it's not bad. With that being said, you guys, do you guys only use CeraVe products? What does your CeraVe collection look like? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in our next video. Bye you guys. Mwah.